Hi friends, having known Eklund form, reduced row Eklund form and matrix form of a system of linear equation, we now move on to discuss solution methodology of a system of linear equations. The two methods that we will elaborate in this video are Gauss elimination and Gauss Jordan method. Both of these methods aim at reducing the given system to an equivalent linear system by applying elementary row operations. So let us see what equivalent linear systems are. Two linear systems are said to be equivalent if they have the same solution set. So two systems given by a1x is equals to b1 a2x is equals to b2 are said to be equivalent if their corresponding augmented matrices given by a1b1 and a2b2 are equivalent. For example, the system x1 plus x2 is equals to 2, 2x1 plus 3x2 is equals to 5 and the system x1 plus x2 is equals to 2, 3x1 plus 4x2 is equals to 7 are equivalent since their corresponding augmented matrices given by 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 5 and 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7 are equivalent since this can be obtained from this matrix by the operation R2 goes to R2 plus R1. Also, it can be seen that the solution to this system is x1 is equals to 1 x2 is equals to 1. Also, this system has solution x1 is equals to 1, x2 is equals to 1. Hence, both of the systems, they have the same solution set given by 1 comma 1. Let us now move ahead to discuss what Gauss elimination method is. In this method, we reduce the augmented matrix to its Eklund form. Consider the system x1 plus 2x2 minus x3 is equals to 1, 2x1 plus x2 plus 4x3 is equals to 2, 3x1 plus 3x2 plus 4x3 is equals to 1. The corresponding augmented matrix for this system is 1, 2, Minus 1, 1, 2, 1, 4, 2, 3, 3, 4, 1. In order to reduce it to Eklund form, we need to make all the entries below the leading entries as zeros. So the first leading entry is this. We have to make this 0 and this 0. This can be done by applying the row operations. R2 goes to R2 minus 2 times of R1 and R3 goes to R3 minus 3 times of R1. Then this augmented matrix becomes equivalent to 1, 2, minus 1, 1. 0, minus 3, 6, 0, 0, minus 3, 7, minus 2. The next leading entry is minus 3. To make calculations easier, we can make minus 3 as 1 or we can keep it as it is. Let us keep minus 3 as it is and try to make this 0. This can be done by applying the row operation R3 goes to R3 minus R2. Then this matrix becomes equivalent to 1, 2, minus 1, 
one zero minus three six zero 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 one minus two. This is the echelon form of the augmented matrix. From the echelon form, we can write an equivalent linear system as x1 plus 2x2 minus x3 is equals to 1 minus 3x2 plus 6x3 is equals to 0 x3 is equals to minus 2. From this system, we can get the solution x1, x2, x3 by backward substitution method. By backward substitution, we mean that from the last equation, we get the value of x3, substitute it in the second equation, get the value of x2, substitute in the first equation to get the value of x1. Since we go from x3 to x1, that is why this method is called backward substitution. So from here we see that x3 is equals to minus 2 minus 3x2 plus 6 times of minus 2 is equals to 0 which implies x2 is equals to minus 4. x1 plus 2 times of minus 4 minus minus 2 is equals to 1 which implies x1 is equals to 7. Hence the solution is x1 is equals to 7, x2 is equals to minus 4 and x3 is equals to minus 2. Let us take the same example and solve it by Gauss-Jordan method. In Gauss-Jordan method, we reduce the augmented matrix to reduce row echelon form. Since we have considered here the same problem, we already have echelon form of this system. So we continue thereafter. So the echelon form that we had found in the previous method was 1, 2, minus 1, 1, 0, minus 3, 6, 0, 0, 0, 1, minus 2. Since now we have to reduce this matrix to reduce row echelon form, we make the leading entries as 1. This is the only leading entry which is not equal to 1. So we apply the operation R2 goes to minus 1 by 3 times of R2. And the system now becomes equivalent to 1, 2, minus 1, 1, 0, 1, minus 2, 0, 0, 0, 1, minus 2. The next step is to make entries above the leading entries as 0. So we make this 0 by applying the operation R1 goes to R1 minus 2 times of R2. And now the system becomes equivalent to 1, 0, 3, 1. 0, 1, minus 2, 0, 0, 0, 1, minus 2. The last step is to make this entry 0 and this entry 0 which can be done by applying the row operations R1 goes to R1 minus 3 times of R3 and R2 goes to R2 plus 2 times of R3. Using these elementary row operations, our matrix now becomes equivalent to 1, 0, 0, 7, 0, 1, 0, minus 4, 0, 0, 1, minus 2, which is the reduced row echelon form of the augmented matrix that we had considered. 
the corresponding linear system for this reduced row Eklund form of augmented matrix is x1 is equals to 7, x2 is equals to minus 4 and x3 is equals to minus 2. Hence, this is the solution for the given system. It can be seen that the solution remains the same irrespective of what method we choose to perform. Thank you.